So as you can see here, I'm logged in as a faculty member. And the first step you'd want to do is you go to the course in which you want to add in your outcomes. And you'll notice here on the left-hand course menu, outcomes is not visible to the student, but it is visible to the instructor. And you'll want to click on that outcome. And then you'll want to go and find the outcome that you want to get. Now, when you click on that, you'll just get an account standard as the main item here. But if you click on that, you'll see there are levels here. What you want to click on is this second one here. This is the education sub-account that exists within the Canvas system. And by clicking on that, you'll see that you get the MS slash SS TPEs as well as the SPED TEPs. So whichever ones you need, say you need to bring in the fifth one of these, which is fine, I can go and click on the MSSS and click on the fifth one. And then down here I can click import and it says it will import it and I will say yes. At the same time I can then also go in and find Say I also need to bring in the 11th one of the SPED one. So I clicked on SPED, I go down to 11, and then I click Import, and then say OK. And you'll see these are both available to me here now to use within the course, and they are tied to the overall outcome system. So now if I were to go into the assignments, and if I were to go in and create a, let's just call this temporary for now, and I'm going to say that it is not graded for points. It doesn't count towards the final grade. And then let's just click Save. Oops. Submission type, let's say I want them to upload a file. And then I'm going to click Save. And now from this, now that I've got the item created, I can click on Rubric. And while it'll give me a general rubric here, I want to delete this one because I want to find an outcome. And by clicking on Find Outcomes, now you can see here are the two that I just brought in. So I can click on the MS TPE5, and then if I scroll down, I can import that one in, and you see it's imported there now. And if I wanted to, I could actually have both of these on the same assignment. So that way, I could have it set up so that if the student is an MS slash SS student, I would use this top line. If the student is a special ed student, I would use this line. If the student is a dual student, I could actually grade with both lines. And then I'll create the rubric. And now you'll see both of these are in here. And as you can see by the little circle with an arrow through it, that means that it's connected to an outcome. So any of the students that I would grade this uh, item with or that I would score this item with, it would collect that data to use in their overall outcomes that are collected from all of the courses that they are taking. So this essentially allows the GSOE program chairs to go in and take a look at a student and see how they are doing on all of the TPEs that they are responsible for completing. And once you've got it set up the way that you want, uh, you know, once you've put in all of the content, the description of whatever it is they're supposed to upload, and maybe instructions in terms of who is supposed to get a grade for this one, who is supposed to get a grade for this one, and who is supposed to get a grade for both of them, then you would want to publish it, and then the students would be ready to complete it. So that's how to go and import the outcome into your course and then attach it to one of the assessments in your course.